Hello everybody and welcome, this is Adrian, thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Europa Universalis 4 as Albania. Okay, so first off, um, the mic quality might sound a little different. Um, I had to use a backup mic because I, I'm going to sell my current mic and I'm, get a, I'm getting a new mic, so I have three different microphones. I'm getting rid of one and getting another, but the, the new one is not here yet, so I'm using an old microphone. I actually do think it sounds pretty nice. It's actually been a while since I've used this particular microphone, so... Um, I think it sounds nice, but whatever. Um, you, you won't hear too much of this microphone, so don't don't be alarmed or anything. So, anyway, let's come back here to uh, our Albania campaign. So, um, I've been reading the YouTube comments, and somebody actually suggested that we accept Turkish culture here in uh, in Anatolia. There is a lot of development here that is actually Turkish. It might not be a bad idea to take um, take Turkish and perhaps even Neapolitan actually as an accepted culture. Um, Neapolitan is part of our states. And most most of Anatolia is not, but if we accepted the Anatolian culture and made um, basically everything here, let's see, why are we losing admin again? That's right, we have the Vassal Integration Act. I'm actually wondering, why am I paying for this again? Uh, might have been a bad idea to actually get that. Oh, well, whatever. We have a 623 heir. We have, uh, you know, eight years old. Anyway, um, let's come back here to the States. So if we accept Neapolitan and Turkish culture, which we can do, we can actually promote those cultures and make them accepted. And then also make a lot of this territory here in Anatolia into States. We probably see um, quite a bit of manpower and money actually come from those conquests. So maybe we'll do that. And uh, we're about to vassalize Lithuania. And we might even declare war against Russia for a lot of Lithuanian territory here. He's actually got cores in all of this. And uh, I think it'd actually be pretty cool to turn this guy into an orthodox, like, march against Russia. It's possible, for sure. Um, Russia is kind of hostile right now. And uh, we could probably easily defeat him in a war. Let's go and take a look at Russia's military strength. He's got 213,000 men, 30... What? No, 305,000 manpower. Holy shit. But he's got a... That's all infantry. It's 170,000 infantry with 46 artillery. We have a standing army of 200,000 with no manpower at all. So he's got a force limit of 387, but he only, he only can really afford 213,000. Let's go and take a look at our economy. I want to see who makes the most money in the world. Uh, it's actually Portugal, believe it or not. 174.44. He makes, uh, let's see, a whopping 64 ducats from tariffs and 55 from trade. I am third in the world for income. I make 148.11. I'm actually quite a bit behind Great Britain and uh, and Portugal, though. Um, looks like colonial nations give them a lot of income. Spain is also right neck and neck with me, dude. They honestly make as much money as I do. And Russia is actually really, really not far behind from me either. He makes 143.05. So, that'd be interesting to go to war with, uh, you know, with these guys. Let's see. We do have, um, I believe, the best army in the world because of our ideas and such. So, we're going to be taking, if I remember correctly, we're taking diplomatic ideas, uh, uh, constitutional ideas and level 26 here. Um, we're taking constitutional ideas. I mean, uh, diplomatic ideas. We're taking diplomatic ideas and rushing through that diplomatic group to get to that province war score cost minus 20%. We will need that. That'd be awesome. Um, so do I want to promote Neapolitan and Turkish cultures right now and then spend some admin? I don't think we will for now. We might actually do it in the near future, but I don't, I'm not going to I'm not gonna promote the culture and, and make some stuff right now. I don't think so. Let's see, Trier. Let's go. Let's declare war in Lithuania. He doesn't have any, any real allies or anything like that. So we can go to... We're, we're not going to have any difficulty sieging down these forts. So let's just come over here. Um, Catalonia is our vassal in, um, Catalonia is our vassal in Spain, and we're about to annex him, so that's nice, we have, we have most of the army in, in Spain right now, um, so that's cool, Lithuanian troops here, we're gonna make this guy, yeah, we, we will vassalize this guy, I think we'll make him into a march or something, um, it should be okay as far as war score, because I think he's only, he's pretty small, he's only got 84% war score here, yeah, so we can go ahead and occupy Tarov as well. Um, we've got plenty of cannons here for an occupation. We have two siege, actually, so that's nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and take some Diplo. And then once this, uh, once this head of tech penalty is gone, we have about a year to go. We will go ahead and just, uh, yeah, just kill, just kill this guy. Um, Trier. Oh, thank you, Catalonia. You're gonna go occupy Trier for me. Thank you. Looks like Burgundy and, I guess, Bohemia are at war. That's interesting. I wonder why. No, actually, Burgundy is at war. Who's Burgundy fighting, man? I don't know, I think it's just Bohemia. Bohemia's battling inside the Holy Roman Empire, so that's cool. Uh, I'd actually really prefer maybe not to do any battle. Let me see here. I want to maybe keep keep Lithuania around. Can I convert? Yeah, can I force his religion? I don't think so. 
requires more than 100% war score. No, I cannot. Holy shit, this costs 152 Diplo. For my Imperialism cast this belief? Really? Holy god. 152 Diplo? Holy shit. I wonder if I should have picked a better war, um, uh, war goal. Let me see here. Because the Holy War... What, what's the Cleansing of Heresy again? Let's actually go and take a look at that. What does that give me? Cleansing of Heresy is for 75% aggressive expansion for all provinces and forced conversion. Imperialism is for all provinces. It's actually 75% cost. Curious. Russia, yeah, Russia just announced me as a rival. Hmm. I want to see if I can actually avoid doing battle with uh, with Lithuanians. I might, I might actually, you know what we will do? What we might do is, let's come over here, let's get an Albanian vassal, give me your money. And we might immediately declare war in Russia before we go to war with the Ottomans, or with the Spanish again. Because our I'm truce with Spain ends in 1732. I'm expecting if we go to war with Spain and just put all of our effort there. God damn it, he allied with Austria again. You bastard, get out of here, man. So it means we have to invade Austria again. Um, That's going to suck. I don't want to keep troops over here in Europe. It's a damn shame. Oh, we can go ahead and get Trier out of here. Trier, yeah. Force religion on you. Yeah, I'll make you orthodox. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's come over here to Lithuania. Let's go ahead and, and uh, yeah, we'll make him. You don't own any forts. You should be. You should be fully occupied, you piece of shit. You have no forts available. How can you do battle with no forts? So I guess we'll have to invade Austria again. So annoying. Um, yeah, so we can go ahead and attack Austria, and... I'm trying to think, is there anything else we're going to do here? Um, I mean, like I said, I want to invade. There we go, this should be good. Let me see here. Okay, come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. We already took his capital, we already, yeah, so, yeah, I think maybe what we'll do, maybe we what we could do is we focus on Austria and Spain for now, and after that, once we focused on Austria and Spain, you know what we could do is probably declare war in Russia really fast to get some of Lithuania's cores back. Do these cores ever expire? I don't think so. Actually, they do. 1773. Okay. What I, what I don't want to have happen, this would, this would fucking suck. This would be horrible, is if I go to war with Spain and Austria and Russia declares on me. That would absolutely just be terrible. What would be even worse is actually a, like a Prussian-Russian alliance, which I'm, I'm pretty damn sure is unlikely. Somebody actually suggested that I ally Prussia. It's not a bad idea, but this guy has actually rivaled me. I'm rivaled to Prussia, Egypt, Spain, Great Britain and Russia, and I'm allied to both France and Bohemia. There's no other real allies that I can probably consider. Uh, Bohemia is, is, he's decent as an ally, I guess. He's powerful compared to, say, Prussia. Um, Great Britain, if Great Britain stopped being my rival, that would be, like, really helpful. All right, let's go and take this piece deal here. I guess we're paying, I guess we're paying quite a bit for this, actually. We're paying 152 Diplo. That's a damn shame. I really wish we weren't paying that much. Shit, I might have, I probably should have considered that, that Cassus Belli or something a little better, but, oh well. So, uh, what's Austria's army look like? Austria has an army of 75,000. So we should keep like 100,000 over there, or over here, to battle the Austrians first. And we'll have to keep like 100,000 over here to battle the Spanish. We might bring in France, France this time. Apparently Catalonia is disloyal. Let's go and spend a little bit of prestige to, um, to remedy that. Let's go and pay off this guy's debt. We want to enforce religion once he's got positive relations. We did not destroy his navy. We did not battle his navy at all. So that's good. Uh, let's annex Catalonia real fast. It's 1730 right now, so we should be ready for another war with Spain and Austria. Who else did Spain ally with? Tuscany, which is this guy. It's not very, it's not very much to deal with. Hmm. We got plenty of manpower. I'm trying to consider my options right now. I actually th do think I might need more troops. Right now we have. Let's see. What's our cap? 
We're paying 50 ducats a month in maintenance. Holy shit. They're still focusing on military ideas. Let's go and take this. We're hit on time now by, like, a shit ton. This is going to be diplomatic ideas. Uh, let's get some different infantry. Green coat infantry. We have the reformed Cossack cavalry or lancers. I'm going to go for the lancers. Royal mortars. Yep. Speed of secession with nobody. Let's go into, we have too few rivals. Let's go and rival, I guess, Russia. We're going to go to war with him sometime in the new future. And then, uh, let's get ahead on this tech. It's going to give us some, some better ships and such. Let's go ahead and have the, yeah, we're going to have the fleet come over here. We're going to have to pick up some troops. Let's see, what do I have here? So I've got 25, 26, 25, so 75,000 plus another 60, no, it's like a 70. 70 stack right here. Combat width is what, 40? Yeah, so combat width is 40. So let's go ahead and get four cav. Four cav. I need 36 inventory. Right, so 40 in the front line. There we go. So we just annexed Catalonia. And the ability wants some land. That's fine. We'll give them... How about we give them Cagliari? We'll go ahead and make some of this into states, because this is already our cores. Sweet. Damn it, ability! Over here, let's give this guy something with, uh, yeah, Alicante, that's fine. Holy shit, Valencia, dude, you are gnarly. We can give you to the burgers. Look at that. Global center trade there. Nice. We actually might be collecting some money from, uh, ooh, Tarragonia. You go to the burgers, too. Nice. Good stuff. We actually might be making a lot of money in Genoa. We should, we should probably maybe collect trade from there. Russia's embargoing me. Embargo him back. He's just been embargoing me for a while. Uh, let's see, we have a guy in Ragusa. We have a guy in Crimea. Russia's got the most power there. We're still transferring money. And then Genoa. We could collect in Genoa. There's 40 ducats here. Holy shit. And then we have one more guy in Venice. We're collecting from Venice. We only collect 2.65%. Or 2.65 ducats. How much power do we have? 5%? How much power do we have in Genoa? Let's let, let's let a month go by and it'll tell me how much power we have here. Damn, we have 32% of the trade power here in Genoa. Holy shit. Let's go ahead and bring over the Venetian guy. The Venetian uh, merchant. Let's find out where are my troops. Where are all my troops? So this is one army. Uh, let me see. So this is 40. This is this is my full front line. Let's go ahead and get some cannons in this army. Let's see. How many cannons are here? Tarragonia. This is 60,000 men. This is uh, 40 in the front row, 20 cannons. That's pretty decent. That's pretty damn good. We don't have to occupy too many Austrian forts. I don't want to really battle Austria too much. Um, I'd really prefer, like, not to. We have 80,000 manpower. Let's see, who's disloyal again? Uh, yeah, Lithuania. We're still in perfect relations with him. Let's see. Support dissidents, forced to break alliance, declared war, aggressive expansion, they force vassalized us, wars at war... Anning's vassal. Holy god. Yeah, unfortunate religion is going to be difficult for that guy. Uh, I'm not going to play Kanem right now. I think we'll just leave him alone. It's fine. We don't need. To, we don't really need his help in anything. So this is going to be a second army with which to siege. Let's take a look here. We need like four cav. Let's get four cav. Let's get 36 inventory. Let's see. That's 19. This is... This should be, yeah, this should be 36 and 4. Nope, oh, need two more, two more inventory. Two more inventory. Okay, and then let's get cannons. All the cannons I have here, I think I have 16 cannons here in Spain. And we actually probably need more than that. I might need more cannons to have a, a good front row. Or a good back line, sorry. Because we need, we need pretty serious siege bonuses. I'm just hoping Spain doesn't ally anybody else. It's going to slow us down as far as our wars. So this is 36, 4, and 16. We need more cannons. And the first place we occupy will probably be... Yeah, why are you mothballed, you bastard? The first location we'll occupy will probably be Narbonne. We're going to need that. Or we're not, we're not really going to take it. We need Labor. That's what I need. We need Labor. We need to take the Labor from Spain. Because that's part of the Iberian region. 
Let's see, do I have any aggressive expansion with him? No, so we're gonna need a probably close to 100% peace deal for that for that peace deal. Um, if he gave, if he goes into like mountains and stuff, we'll definitely want to battle him if I can if I can help it. Narbonne, we will siege that down. Where's our fleet? Fleet's over here. Where's? Let's see, we're protecting trade here. Let's go protect trade over here in constant. No, in general, actually, yeah. So this three siege leader will go after Vienna probably, and then this guy. No, actually, we'll swap these armies. Okay, so we have 51,000 men here. We need more cannons in this force. We need one more inventory, too. So let's actually go ahead and make this one more inventory. Let's get, like, four more cannons. And then this force, this is 60,000. This is 36, 4, and 20. And you will have a three siege leader. Your job will be to go to for, for Vienna. And then we have this guy. This is 56,000. We could use a, a couple more cannons here. I think it's 20 or 25. This is a level 8, 4. I think it's 25 cannons to get the full 5 bonus. So, we might need more cannons over here. We could probably use some uh, more inventory and artillery as well. Let's see, so this is um, this is 16 cannons. So let's go ahead and bring it up to 20, I guess. Forever to train those men. Cool, we're now just natural unrest minus 2. Sweet. Minus 1, minus 2. Minus 2. Awesome. We have a statesman that died. Let's go and take a look at that. Statesman, spine network construction, privileges would be better because we're gonna have a lot of aggressive expansion. Let's take a look. Um, so this guy will go for Kern Ten. This guy will go for Vienna. We have about 140,000 men. Eh, it's like 120. 120,000 men here. Then we have yeah, like 120,000 men here, which I, and I, I want even more than that. I don't think uh, I have enough. Oh, are you kidding me? God damn it. This guy allied the Netherlands now, too. Tuscany, the Netherlands, and Austria. Son of a bitch, Spain. You suck. Can I force you to break your alliance? Almost. What about Austria? What about the Netherlands? Okay. And then France. Are you strong, France? How many troops do you have, France? He's very weak. He's got 53,000. Very weak. Maybe Bohemia can join me in this war. Uh, yeah. Bohemia will join me now. Looks like he's paid back some of his debt. That's good. Thank God. Okay, so we have 60,000 for Narbonne to siege down two level 8 forts. And then we have... I guess like 50,000 in reserve. 55,000 in reserve. Right here. France is now considered a great power. So... Do I want even more men? I mean, like, I wouldn't mind training some more troops here. I'd rather have some more artillery or something. We're making a lot of money. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Our trade income, like, doubled because we're collecting in Genoa now. Jesus balls. That is amazing. We declare war soon. We declare war... Oh, shit. March 1732. We got two months. We have 100,000 men ready to go. Let's go ahead and uh, prepare for this. Prepare for this engagement. Um... The faster we get Austria out of this, the faster I can redeploy these troops to over here. Austria is almost like not willing to join the war. Actually, all those guys like me. They really do. Imperialism take capital Madrid. So cleansing of heresy is nice, but it's 100% cost. Imperialism is take capital Madrid, but we get 75% cost for all provinces. In this next war, we're probably going to take... We're probably going to take all of this, maybe if I can get all this up here, and we're going to release Leon, and maybe Galicia. Galicia will conquer all of this, Leon will get a little bit of this, and then Navarro will probably get most of this in the north. Anything that's like Basque, possibly? Maybe like the Basque culture stuff, Navarra. We can release Navarra, we can release Leon, um, and then Galicia will probably conquer the rest of Portugal, unless we like vassalize Portugal or something, but I think it's impossible at this point, because he's got way too many... Yeah, he's just got so much. And then... Um, Closer to, you know, 1800, we're going to need to take these islands. However the hell that's going to work out. Either that or we take the islands now. Uh, Iberia. 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 I think that's, I think that's the, the lowest it goes. Yeah, this is Africa down here. So we need to take these islands as well as, as well as everything else. Son of a bitch. 
January. This guy's got a three siege leader. This guy's got two siege leader. I've got no no reserves or any of this. Car intent, like if we lose a battle here, it's gonna slow us down significantly. Which really does kind of worry me. This guy doesn't have enough cannons for this really siege to this for the siege to be effective anyway. I do want to actually transfer reinforcements over, but let's go and hire. I think we can we can afford a few more generals here. Damn! Nice! A five a five two four zero. Not bad. He's got no siege though. Shit, that does not help me. Alright, he's gonna be a combat leader, I guess. A five two? This is a combat stack, then this is a siege stack in our bone. Actually, probably yeah, let's hang out there. We can upgrade some ships. Holy shit, we can upgrade we need 1800x to upgrade 114 ships to something better. Okay, if you say so. So Bohemia, you'll join me. France, you'll join me. That's right, Bohemia actually would join me. He's got 100,000 men to fight Austria. But I actually do trust my own ability to siege down Austria better. Lithuania, you're fine. You stay out of all this. You're fine. We'll conquer Russia sometime in the near future. Prussia, you're allied with Denmark, Bohemia, Oldenburg, the Palatinate, and Saxony. Okay. And he's the emperor, too. Prussia's the emperor. All right. So in the next, uh, in the next episode, I think... I want more troops. I need more, like, artillery here. 6,000. It's a lot of infantry. It's like 6,000 cavalry. I want to be, like, at the force limit right now. We could be at, like, 274 force limit. No bullshit. Two siege... Yeah, these two siege leaders, that better be quick. Vienna's a level 7. This is a level 6. All right. All right, guys. We're going to declare war in Spain in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.